Hey everyone, Sean Nice, owner of Dallas Vintage Toys, here with Rowdy. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> oh no, it's our new friend. <laughs> oh. So anyway, we got this uh, Jurassic Park collection uh, this past weekend in a trade, so you can actually bring your items in to do a trade for some other items. And uh, this is uh, JP1 back in 93, all the way to uh, Jurassic Park 3. Kenner did a lot of really fun stuff with this line here. There was a lot of great accessories and sets that we never would have thought about in the movies, uh, such as like these little uh, helicopter type. Get to the uh, chopper. You know, get to the chopper type uh, sets here where you'd capture the dinosaurs with all these nets. Stuff that you didn't see in the movie, but you always thought about because, I mean, what were you doing? You're catching dinosaurs with large nets and putting them in cages. So Dino you've got to have stuff like this, right? <laughs> So yeah. then we also have a Humvee also. Oh, get I mean, to that, the Humvee. That just screamed 80s and 90s nostalgia. I Abs just wanted a Hummer back in the day, a Humvee. So. Well, I mean, Arnold H1. and... H1. I mean, Taco Bell gave away a Star Wars <laughs> one for free. If you ate enough Taco Bell, you might... I see, that, I, uh, I do remember that. Uh, then Pepsi... I think the Earth Collectible Toy Mall ended up with that. <laughs> I think Pepsi did a similar thing, too. If you drank enough Pepsis, you got, you you got some sort of died. wild prize. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, <laughs> kidney stones. That's what you got. So we're hanging out here with this Jurassic Park Monty collection. Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of fun stuff here, like the complete command compound. This was an electronic set. Uh, lots of fun pieces to this. It's a huge actual set for you to put your dinosaurs together in, and uh, something I don't see very often in the in the, the store, box right? Art on the back. Can you oh, yeah? show here, that? Here, you know, let's get this. It just kind of made me chuckle a little bit. The big T Rex taking a bite out of it. Yeah, I think like the Triceratops or Stegosaurus is just leaving, and the T Rex is like. He's like, it's lunchtime, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so you got this Jurassic Park or wow, buffet. it comes with over a hundred phrases. Oh my goodness, I didn't even uh, think about that. People screaming in peril. <laughs> As, but, you know, that's a lot of phrases for a kid back in the '90s, uh, the late '90s. I would not have seen a hundred phrases in this thing. That's cool. I, then looking back at the front, like where would you want to be on the compound? Like where would you want to? Probably the gunner's nest or. Put out or a post. <laughs> but and as Ian Malcolm said, the high hide you're right in dino biting yes, territory. You are in T Rex range at that yeah, point. Yeah. So and then here are the two classic vehicles: the Jungle Explorer and uh, the Bush Devil Tracker. I've seen a lot of people remake these of a Jeep Wrangler and a Ford Explorer. Yeah, I've seen a few of those on uh, on the highway myself, actually. The, lots of fun stuff, people driving past. Uh, you think they found dinosaurs when they're <laughs> driving past? I don't know, but they're definitely looking for trouble if you're driving around in a bright green uh, all-terrain vehicle with Jurassic Park written on it's the side. Like you're looking for lizards. It's kind of like the Ghostbuster car and the Scooby-Doo van at the gas station. <laughs> like, whoa, when both these guys are in town, you know something's about Not stopping there, guys. Not stopping at that <laughs> gas station. Uh, I mean, there was action figures for literally, literally everybody in the line, including our own Scott Tucker. I mean, uh, Ian Malcolm here uh, with his own figure. Uh, lots of character, uh, cast of characters, and you know, the head sculpts didn't look great back then, but you still had a lot of fun. Uh, you bought it for the dinosaurs. Yeah, you bought it for the definitely for the dinosaurs. And, I mean, they made model kits too. I've always liked these uh, hatchlings, the eggs and everything. And then if you were a Pokemon fan back in the day, you had a Pokedex to identify all the different Pokemon, or you had a Dino Dex where you were identifying all the different types of dinosaurs in a talking handheld palm that would uh, tell you exactly what you're looking at. Did you have that when you were younger? I did actually. Or it was did you have the Pokemon one. No, I had the Pokemon one. I okay. actually had the Pokemon one. I mean, that would really because like all the names for the like Stegosaurus, that's easy to say, but I mean like some of these, like Rowdy, can you pronounce this? With the Dilophosaurus or the. I don't, no. Do you, do you need a few drinks at happy hour? Yeah, I was, about, I was about to say, I might need a stiff drink to pronounce that uh, that name right there, guys. So, so those electronic things, does it pronounce the names? I would, yeah. Or does it, it just I give mean, you info? It pronounces the names uh, to I mean, a certain degree. That could be educational. But In your C and like... spell type language, if you want the robot voice to tell you exactly, it is Tyrannosaurus. You know, that's what you get. I mean, Velociraptor, that's easy to say. T-Rex, and then, like, I mean, it starts to be, like... Gazoon tide and everything. I'll try it out. It's Ankylorodon. 
Yeah, see, I, uh, I don't think that's... Uh, correct me down, down in the comments, guys. Let me see know. a doctor about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What does the T stand for in T-Rex? Tyrannosaurus. There you yeah. go. There you go. The man behind the camera does have a voice, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so once again, the Kenner Jurassic Park line, a lot of fun, guys. If you were a late 90s, early 2000s kid like me, uh, a lot of fun memories. This is a great collection for any hardcore Jurassic Park collector. So if you're looking for fun stuff like this, you got to check out us in store. Isn't that right, Sean? That's right. I'm going to quiz you about this uh, compound. Uh-oh. What is usually missing? What accessory is usually missing from this compound? Almost every time because the same toys and play sets are always have the same thing broken or same thing missing. Do you know what it is? I'm going to go with the nets. The nets have got to be missing every time. It is the three blue dinosaur eggs. Ah, okay, because they're so small. Mm -hmm. mm hmm And they actually look like little hand grenades. I think they have like handles on it, which kind of makes no sense. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean you got to put the yeah, action figure's always, hand. I don't but... know if there's a picture of those on here. I have to say, I'm not oh, seeing Oh, there they are right here. Aha! Uh -huh. I guess they always like, see, they, they have do. like they, little They handles, look like little football like... grenades. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Does Let's this see? collection have them? Yes, this is 100% <laughs> complete. We so. spared no expense. <laughs> Welcome there we to go. Jurassic or <laughs> Dallas Vintage Toys. <laughs> DVT Park. But again, guys, if you want awesome collectibles like this or you just want to see updates on what we're getting in the store, you definitely want to check out our social media on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Hit that like and follow button down below so that you're update with everything that we're doing here in the store. And again, you're going to want to check out DallasVintageToys.com for a selection of Jurassic Park figures. Or if you just want to see the whole thing, come in store. We love it when you come visit us. We love talking toys. We love seeing pictures of your collections. And we just love your know, toys in general. Uh-oh. What do we got going on over here? And also, if y'all don't see the items on the website, uh, just give us a call at 214-827-7060. Because a lot of times we get excited about the toys. Mm -hmm. We might just display them in the shop. Um, but yeah, definitely give us a call and we can uh, ship worldwide to you all as well. So until next time, guys. Until this is, next time. This is Sean and Rowdy here at DVT. We're going to see you at the store, guys. See you later. <laughs> DallasFrenchToys.com <laughs>